Okay, so who's my favorite fighter of all time? Easy, uh, Manny Pacquiao. You know, for, for, for many years, I really struggled to answer this question with myself because it almost feels like if you say who your favorite fighter is, it's going to upset and offend a lot of people because people will immediately say, well, you saying Manny Pacquiao is better than this fighter. you saying he's better than this fighter. Yeah, I'm saying that. That's, that's my opinion. Now, that doesn't mean that I'm biased in the sense that I believed, you know, that Manny Pacquiao could beat every single fighter of every different era. I know there's fighters, you know, in, in different times and eras that I believe that would have beaten Pacquiao, but it still doesn't, it doesn't change my decision and I'll give my reasons. Because for me, personally, I've watched, you know, all the boxers since early 90s, even the late 80s, I was quite young then, but I used to watch boxing with my dad. I've watched boxing for over 20 years. I've seen, you know, all of this generation. There's, there's so many brilliant fighters. But there's no fighter. There's no fighter of from America, from England, or any part of the world, or, or any generation. I've watched the old fights, you know, the Leonards, the Hearns, the Haglers, Marciano, uh, the, the Tyson era, all those great fighters. But none of them impressed me more than Pacquiao. Because for me, Pacquiao is, in my opinion, is the perfect fighter. You know, he fights everyone. Never, ever, never, ever have you seen Manny Pacquiao in a boring fight. Now, all the great fighters, and there's too many to mention, I've mentioned a few, all of them have had bad days in the office where they didn't perform well. I've never seen that from Pacquiao. Even the fights that he's lost, even when he got knocked out by um, Marquez, he was boxing a great fight. If I can remember, he was winning that fight till he got knocked out. He's such an exciting fighter. You know, he, Manny Pacquiao is value for money. That's why I don't mind buying pay-per-view. I, I, I gladly will stay up all, you know, till five o'clock in the morning, UK time to watch Pacquiao because I know I'm going to get my money's worth because he's exciting. You know, he's relentless. He's fearless. He, he's he's um, unique, you know. He's got he's got the footwork of a of a basketball player, of a dancer, of a boxer. You know, some of his punches look almost like a martial artist. So it, it just is unique. There's no one like Pacquiao. You know, the other fighters that we mentioned are brilliant, but there's always a fighter. There's a lot of fighters that fight, you know, like many world champions. But there's only one Manny Pacquiao, and. Um, you know, there's a lot of other fighters that I like, but I have to be honest, none of them for me. And you've only got to look at what Pacquiao's achieved. Can any of you name me one boxer throughout the whole of boxing history who has achieved more than Manny Pacquiao? He's an eight-weight world champion. As far as my um, knowledge serves me, I don't think there's a boxer in any generation in history who's achieved more than Pacquiao. So... I've watched his career from, from the very start, or at least when he first came to America, uh, you know, and he um, he had the fights, you know, with Rara Morales, and he, and he uh, sorry, I forgot the South African guy's name that he won, he won a, a championship from, he won a belt from. I've watched his ascent, I've watched how he improved, you know, he went from uh, like a two fighter, a two fisted come forward aggressive fighter to, you know, a fighter slash boxer. Pacquiao is unbelievable, and I know people are going to say, yeah, I know Mayweather beat him, but, you know, Floyd Mayweather pretty much beats everyone he fights, and it's not like he battered Manny Pacquiao, he just really didn't engage, he wouldn't really come in, he wouldn't really have a fight with Pacquiao, he knew he'd lose, so he did, um, you know, he used his jab and was extremely careful, and, you know, you've got to give Mayweather credit, but even though he lost to um, Mayweather, I still think, for me, Pacquiao is... The best fighter I've seen is his combinations, his style, you know, and maybe I can interpret that as, for me, he's the most exciting fighter to watch out of any fighter that I've watched. And obviously, as I said, I've watched many different fights and I absolutely love Sugar Ray Leonard. I think Leonard was a brilliant fighter. And, you know, I could make an argument that probably Leonard would have beat Manny Pacquiao, but it's not guaranteed. On Pacquiao's day, he could beat Leonard. But even if Leonard could beat Pacquiao, I still prefer... Pacquiao is still my number one fighter. I've watched him 
throughout the years. And, you know, when Pacquiao fought Ricky Hatton, I wanted Ricky Hatton to win, you know. I was devastated at the time. You know, Pacquiao, bloody, he broke our hearts, you know. I was a huge Ricky Hatton fan and still really admire Ricky Hatton. But he destroyed Hatton, you know. He, he Look what he done to Oscar De La Hoya. Look at the way that he beat, um, you know, Antonio Margarita. Look at, look, at, look at the size of Manny. Let's be realistic. Comparing him to the average man, he's, he's quite a small man. But it, he beats guys that are bigger than him. You know, he practically beats middleweights at a certain point in his career, or light middleweights. By the time these guys get in the ring, they're probably weighing 160. They're weighing much more than Pacquiao is weighing. Um, you know, when he when he was going up the weights, and you know, De La Hoya is much bigger than in Margarito, and he battered these guys. He's unbelievable. Look what he done to Miguel Cotto. Miguel Cotto, um, you know, started off as a what was it 140, and then he he went up to middleweight. So Miguel Cotto is a naturally big man, and he absolutely destroyed Cotto. And I really rate Cotto. Cotto is an elite fighter. He's going down. I'm sure he's going to go down in the Hall of Fame. So look what Pacquiao does to these fighters. He destroys them. And, you know, the thing I love about Manny as well is when he loses, he doesn't make excuses. He doesn't complain, he doesn't say that, oh, it's a trainer's fault or he got an injury in training camp or this or that. I don't really recall him. I mean, I might have heard a few things about the Mayweather fight, but generally, when he, when he loses, he, he's been robbed. He's been robbed several times. He got robbed, um, and I'm sorry to say it because I really liked him a few Bradley. He's a great guy, a great pundit. It was a great fight. I loved watching him, but... He got, Pacquiao won that fight, you know, he fought him three times, officially beat him twice, lost once, but everyone knows he won that fight, that was a robbery, in my opinion, Jeff Horn was a robbery, he beat Jeff Horn, you know, um, so despite, you know, the losses that he's had, he's always come back, and, you know, now he's going to go and fight Errol Spence, you've you got to give him credit. So there's so many reasons why I personally like Manny Pacquiao as my favourite fighter of all time. Now I'm not saying, I'm not saying that Pacquiao is the best fighter of all time, because I'm willing to acknowledge that maybe there are other boxers that were better than him. I don't think there is, but I'm just saying I'm not ignorant in that sense. But for me personally, he's my favourite fighter uh, of all time. And obviously, I, you know, I wasn't around the time when. Sugar Ray Robinson was boxing. I can only go by what the the generation tell us. And obviously I've seen, I've looked at some of the clips and he, he does look like a fantastic fighter. But I wasn't around then. You know, I'm talking about my generation now, you know, growing up and seeing, you know, Hopkins, De La Hoya, Pacquiao, Mayweather, Kao Zaghi, um, Nigel Benn, Chris Eubank, Ricky Hatton, you know, Lennox Lewis, uh, Tyson, Holyfield. Obviously, now the generation we're in, Tyson Fury. Um, so I, I, I can only really go by Barrera. Sorry, I was a big fan of Barrera. Brilliant fighters. Barrera Morales is amazing. I can only really go by, you know, what I'm watching today as well. And even like I said, when I watch the old-time fighters, I think the old-time fighters were awesome. And I think the old-time fighters are, a bit, are better than a lot of the boxers today. They're fitter and they went 15 rounds back then. But I can put Pacquiao in any era, and, he'll, and he can compete. He can compete in any era. And I'm not saying he'll win every fight, but that's what you kind of love about Manny. You know, he's not like, he doesn't have a perfect record, and, but he's still the people's champion. And, you know, he, he, he's, he's won pretty much most of his fights. You know, and look at the amount of fights he's had. You're, you're bound to lose some fights when you're fighting you know, great top fighters. And, and I forgot to mention, he beat Shane Mosley as well, who was a great fighter. And I, I know that Shane Mosley, he wasn't in his real prime, but he was still dangerous. You know, look, look at the trouble he gave Mayweather till Mayweather figured him out, broke him down and beat him. So for me, um, excitement-wise, I can't think of one boring round of Pacquiao where I've got bored or... He's just, he comes to fight, he comes to win, he comes to take your head off. And also as well, I like the way that he conducts himself outside the ring. He's not a, a nasty person. He's not like some of these boxers who talk a lot of shit, talk rubbish, and they don't really behave, they don't behave right, in, in my opinion. He's a gentleman outside, you know, and um, that's kind of what I would look to be. That's kind of the, the example um, 
that I like and the way he trains, you know. Everything about him, I just find him exciting. You know, if I'm being honest, if I watch boxing, I can appreciate the sweet science. And yeah, Mayweather is he's the best at what he does. You know, hit and not get hit. He's well impressive. But I've got to be honest, sometimes some of Mayweather's fights are boring. I can't sit and watch all of his fights. I like seeing certain manoeuvres that he does, which are brilliant. And there are certain fights of Mayweather that I love watching. But I can't watch all of his fights. I'll get bored. But with Pacquiao, I can watch all of his fights um, because they're all action-packed. They're exciting. And, um, you know, when he did get beaten, he, he he's come back and regained and won the titles again. And now he's going in and fighting Errol Spence, who, who, I, who I really... I, I like Errol Spence. I'm a big fan of him. I want Pacquiao to win. But look, he's not going to be the favourite. I know that. But you can never bet against Pacquiao because he could do it. And if he loses to Spence, who cares? You know, he's a, he's a legend. He could lose. It's not going to take away the fact that he's going to, we're going to be talking about this guy, well, our generation that's going to come after us. That we're talking about Manny in 100 years' time. Unbelievable what he's achieved. So if he loses to Spence, fine. You know, he's 42, really. He's, you, Spence is younger. He's ex, kind of expected to win at this point. But I really don't think Spence would have beaten Pacquiao or any of these guys when he was in his prime, when he bought, beat De La Hoya, Ricky Hatton, Miguel Cotto, uh, and, and so forth. But, um, you know, it's not a foregone conclusion. It's not guaranteed that Pacquiao is going to lose this fight. Nobody thought he was going to beat Keith Furman. A lot of people didn't look what he did. So he's unbelievable, he's exciting, he's electric to watch. You know when you watch Pacquiao, you're going to get a fight. And you can't say that about every other boxer, you know, even the greats that have been around, because they have bad nights in the office where Pacquiao, he always comes to fight, he's always in great shape and trains incredibly hard. And, you know, it's... He always proves that proves the odds wrong. You know, usually they say that a big man beats a smaller man, but in this case, it, it doesn't go like that. So I I find him the best to watch, and I've been watching him for years. He gave me so much entertainment, and um, what a fighter that he is. He's just to think that he's still boxing now at the highest level. He's still competing at 42 years of age. And from how many years he's been going and all the different weight divisions that he's gone up in and all the great fights he's been in, most of them he's won. He's lost a few, he's drawn, um, but he, he's unbelievable. He's just got better and better and, um, you know, there's not really much more I can say. You know, usually today people throw, oh, he's a legend, oh, he's this, oh, he's that. People say that without people even doing much, but you can't exaggerate when you're talking about Pacquiao you can say this man is a legend and without any fear of contradiction you could say he's one of the greatest fighters to ever do it and if anyone disagrees with that as far as I'm concerned you're not intelligent because you whether you, if you don't like him for whatever reason fair enough that's your choice but you can't knock his achievements an eight weight world champion I rest my case so that's the reason why and of course there's other fighters that I like that um that I think um, are brilliant, you know, Kawasaki, Sugar Ray Leonard, uh, Nigel Benn, um, Tyson Fury, uh, Lennox Lewis, um, a lot of the Mexican fighters are like Barrera, um, Canelo, um, I, I, yeah, I'm a, I was always a big fan of um, Hopkins, he was one of my favourite middleweights of all time, one of the best, unbelievable, but you know, like I said, for me, none of them, none of them come close to um, the excitement and and for me, the relentlessness and the fearlessness, and the ferociousness, and the work rate of Manny Pacquiao. So that's my take on it. All right, let's talk boxing, and I might even upload this on my. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to put this on my other channel. I know this. I should really put this on my boxing channel, but on my other channel, people ask me to do a video on people that have inspired me, because I did one on Bruce Lee about how he inspired me um, to go down the gym and be dedicated to training and self-fitness and stuff like that, but I think Pacquiao is just, um, he, he he really does, um, yeah, like I said, you know, you, I could be having a down day or feeling depressed, because I suffer with mental health probably like everyone else does, 
And if I watch Pacquiao's fights, it, like it, it takes me out of that depression, man. It makes me feel like I can, I can achieve anything or I can do a lot better in my life and overcome the challenges I'm going through. And it, it kind of rejuvenates you watching him. It makes you want to work harder at what you do. He's, yeah, so I can't... I'm just grateful, man. I'm really grateful to have been alive at a time. And I don't usually get this passionate about boxers because I've been watching boxing all my life. I appreciate it. And you kind of get immune to it when you're watching it for so many years. I've seen so many fighters come and go. I'm a fan of many, many boxing fighters. I, I can't say every name. I'll be here all day. But I don't think any fighter has um, moved me the way that Manny Pacquiao has done. So there we go.